Today, I've got a total of three mystery boxes. I've got one mystery box from Shumi Toys, which is a $15 mystery box. <clears throat> I have one mystery box from the company Big Pop Shop, which is $11. I don't think I've ever bought this company. I might have in the past, I just don't remember. But here is a $11 mystery box. Very, very low value, $11, so... <laughs> might be good, might be bad, I don't know. But, what you want to see though, $200 Toy USA mystery box with no guaranteed value. That's kind of scary. When you drop 200 bucks and there's no guarantee that you even get back half your money, that's kind of worrisome. So hopefully this thing ends up being a good one. Let's do this. First, let's do this big pop shop $11 Funko Pop mystery box. I try to think back in the past, have I ever purchased from this company? I don't think I have. I could be totally off though. Maybe I have. Haven't really heard anything bad about this company. That much I do know. So, $11 though. So you can't really expect anything big probably. I don't even remember what you could possibly get. I think is this, I don't know. Here we go. Big pop shop. It is not in, in any kind of soft protector case or anything. Let me find the back of it. Okay, there's the back. Here we go. $11. Boom. Another one of these. I've received so many of this Batman who fails. Or fails. <laughs> this box is a failure is what I meant. But the Batman who laughs. I've received so many of this Funko Pop and mystery boxes. It's almost becoming a joke. Oh, I mean, it's actually worth, actually it's worth about 15 bucks though. Because I've looked that thing up several times in past videos. It's actually worth about 15 bucks. So, it's actually worth more than what I paid. So, I mean, that actually is a win in terms of value. But, you know, deep down, <laughs> it's still a fail. Here we go. Shoot me toys. One box, one pop. So what you're going for in this is you're going for that coupon code for a free set of Funko Pops. But some of these single pops can have some chase variations. I've never gotten out of chase or anything. I, I've gotten out a whole bunch of common pops. I've gotten out one coupon code in a pop so far for a free set of pops. So that's actually what we're going for. We're going for the free pops. Pull this thing out without looking at it if possible. Always nicely bubble wrapped. All pops come in their .50 Shumi protector cases. Let me find the back of it. There's the back, yeah. Here we go. $15 shipped. Ooh, one, two, three. John Wick Chapter 2. Eh, it's not bad. I don't think it's worth me all the full amount I paid, but not bad. Anyway, let's get to the big box that everybody came to see. $200. I chose box number 111. I figured all ones, they gotta be lucky, right? <laughs> we'll find out. Come on, something big, something big. Hopefully, Okay, there's no peanuts on top. There might be a... Okay, sometimes Toy USA will put peanuts on the top of their box. If you turn it upside down, you don't realize it, you'll make a huge mess. There are peanuts below the box. Oh, there you go. The famous Toy USA peanuts. One box is what we have. So there should be, I'm guessing, four Funko Pops in here, unless there's like one that's like a like a combo and then two single. Spend as much money on a mystery box is always such a huge gamble, especially when there is no guaranteed value. I might lose money on this box. I could lose half or more than half with no guaranteed value. That's, that's actually, honestly, it's kind of scary. 
Try not to look at the top. I got to get off this uh, bubble wrap on top. Come on, tear. And tear, tear. Give me a second. Okay, there we go. They are exposed. Okay, I have one that's in a soft protector case. Yeah, one. Here we go, first one. Common, non-protector case. Getting out without damaging the first one. You ready? One, two, three. Phone call, two, three. Alien Morty, 2018 Spring Convention Exclusive. I've actually received this one before in past mystery boxes. I think I actually got it from Poptopia, maybe. I think this is it's like a $20 pop, maybe, in that range. So, that might be bad, though, because you kind of want your three commons to kind of be lower value. So your big hit will be higher value, which kind of you hope for. Okay, here we go. Number two, common pop. You ready? Oh, one, two, three. Stimpy. <laughs> That's cool. Looks like this is from July of 2017. It has the sticker price tag on the bottom of it still from whatever company sold it for $9.99. I bet this figure's vaulted. Could be wrong, though. But it's probably vaulted. Stimpy. It's actually a cool figure. I watched Rin and Stimpy when, when I was a kid growing up. Stimpy. And then the third one. Without a protector case whatsoever. There's the back of it, okay? You ready? This thing's heavy. Wow. This thing probably weighs over a pound. You ready? One, two, three. Inside Out Sadness 2015 Summer Exclusive. Her hair is sparkly. Disney's Pixar Inside Out. Never seen it. This actually looks like this must have been a shared exclusive with either like Hot Topic or Box Lunch because there is a sticker on the bottom of it. Somebody tried to peel off but they couldn't get it off very well. So, I'm not sure this has much value to it. I honestly have no idea. I don't know much about this this particular pop. Oh well, here we go. Now for the big one. Soft protector. The first three, I'm just guessing they're probably maybe combined all three, maybe like 50. Rick and Morty is about 20. The, the the Stimpy, I bet you, is probably about 15 to 20. And then the Inside Out, probably 15, 20. So I'm going to just guesstimate the first three are probably about 50 bucks in that range. I could be low. It all depends on... Yeah. Here we go. Final one. Let me just find the back of it. Right, there's the back. You ready? $200 mystery box. No guaranteed value. This better be some good. One, two, three. Oh, it's looking at me. Oh, because it pops in backwards. They put the flap in the front instead of the back. Tricked me. You want to see which one it is, though? I saw it. It's a good one. It's Elvira. You ready? Boom! We got it. This is, what was this thing called? What was, uh, oh, that convention that this one was released at last year. Drawing a total blank right now. But yeah, this is actually a pretty good pop. It goes for about like 175 or so. So that's actually a fantastic one to get out. So, boom. I'm happy. So with this one and the other three, yeah, I got more than my money back. <laughs> Thank goodness. That no guaranteed value kind of worried me. So, I hate when people put them in backwards like that. They put the flap in the front. Yeah, I know they say you might damage the back, but you won't damage the back as long as you know what you're doing. 
So let's, look, let's see some prices. The Funko app says insufficient data for trending value. So we'll look her up last on eBay. Okay, this actually had a Chase version. This is the non, this is, actually it is vaulted. I feared it probably was. Value of $17. I fear it's like 15 to 20. 17, that's pretty much halfway point. It's worth a total of $9. Wow, that's bad. Okay, $9. Actually, no, that's not bad for a mystery box. I should back that up. For a Toy USA mystery box, it is good to get out $9 pops in a mystery box because that means if you get out low valued common pops, like super low value, your main hit will be better. So it's actually, that's good. Good, it's only $9. And sadness, inside out, I make sure I'm looking at the right one. This one says inside out 2015 vaulted. It appears this one is a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. For sure that's that's the right one so this is actually worth around 34 dollars that's more than i thought it was worth i thought it was like maybe 15 20 bucks it's worth 34 dollars let's look her up on ebay since the funko app had no value for her it's spooky empire elvira ebay sold actual sold not asking prices sold listings you know what i'm saying so this is actually was the spooky empire exclusive i couldn't remember what convention it was from is from the spooky empire so here is actual sold listing on ebay i see 184 170 169 200 185 175 175 200 185 one what was that 187 189 so I'm looking at eBay prices. I would actually gauge this thing. Looks like it's like a low of 170 and as high as almost 200. So put a rough estimate of this Funko Pop of about $180. So that's not bad. So the total I got out of this mystery box that I spent $200 on, I got back roughly around $240 in return value. That's fantastic. So I got more back than what I paid. So in order for people to get out bigger hits, other people have to get boxes that are worth less than what you paid. So I'm lucky, but mystery boxes are a total gamble. You're not guaranteed to get your money back. You're not guaranteed to make any money. You might lose money. So do not buy any mystery boxes if you cannot afford to lose your money. Don't buy them. But this one I think was a huge win. Got out a very highly desired expensive fungal pop. So super happy with that. So anyway, comment down below, what do you think? And I will see you very, very soon. I am the Funko Bad Guy, and I'm out. <laughs>